So this is just going to be a quick introduction to the joint tool and also I'm going to show you how to bind skin to a model. So I created this very simple kind of 3D model and it's supposed to be like kind of neck and head of some creature, um, maybe like a dinosaur, you know, and uh, it's very low poly just to kind of keep it simple. So I'm going to create some joints for this uh, neck and head kind of uh, section. So I'm just going to go into my uh, right view and then I'm going to go to character joint tool and if you click now basically uh, you'll notice you can't really do anything and what you have to do is you have to hold down control and then you can start drawing your joints and just keep holding down control until you finish. So I'm just going to place them kind of like a vertebrae and then maybe a joint for the head like that and I'm just going to end here and I'm just going to click away and that's our uh, joint chain created as you can see here and we can basically move these uh, if I pick joint 2 for example now what you'll notice is um, the object isn't moving with the joints so what we need to do is just select all your joints hold down shift and uh, make sure all your joints are selected then hold down control and select your creature so everything selected and then we want to go to a character commands and a bind and that basically does it automatically you can set some options here if you want uh, the fall off the bind distance um, I'm just going to leave it on the default options, hit OK. And as you can see, it's basically created a weight tag and a skin deformer. So now if I select the joint and rotate it, the skin is moving with it. I'll just go into my perspective view. And then um, one handy thing to do is maybe um, go to the creature uh, polygon and drag and drop it into a layer and then you can basically lock that layer so you can't accidentally select the skin when you're playing with the bones so I can just select the joints and I can't select the kind of uh, object which is quite handy so I'm just gonna move a joint and as you can see that's the default bind it's pretty good we haven't got any uh, vertexes kind of getting getting left behind and um, yeah, so that's very basically a very basic introduction to the joint and uh, binding tools. And if you want to keyframe these, um, I recommend the auto keyframe here, and then place like a first keyframe, and then every time you make a change now, it's going to be recorded automatically. And I'll go to frame 50 and just change up the. to braise a bit. And now, as you can see, the whole thing's being keyframed automatically. Drag that down. So um, I hope that uh, taught you something and uh, thanks for watching.